Okay, so what do you need to safely climb? You need a full body harness. The old lineman's belt around your waist is not adequate. Don't depend on that. But any full body harness is going to keep you safe and uh, is the way to go. So let me put this on. I'll show you why it's important. So you have a lap belt here which is uh, kind of keeps it in place. You have a couple of leg straps here so that you can't fall out through the thing. And sometimes they get tangled up obviously. Now before I do a climb I do a, an inspection of my safety equipment. Let me finish hooking up and then I'll talk about that. So this has a lap belt which really doesn't do much on safety it just keeps everything in place. You have two leg straps which keep you from falling down through it. If this harness is attached and you come loose you cannot fall out. You have these uh, shoulder straps so if you do flip upside down you can't come out through this way. Believe me that can happen. Sounds far-fetched but it can happen. Now before you do a climb, you do want to do an inspection of this stuff. You look for rusted hardware, uh, any of the strapping or webbing which is worn. It's just common sense stuff. You do want to do a little inspection, make sure that uh, somebody that doesn't like you didn't hack saw their way through one of these puppies and you didn't realize it. So make sure you do that. This thing has um, a bunch of these, which are called D-rings. And that's where you attach your safety equipment. You got two of them here for lanyards, which I'll show you in a little bit. You have one here, which is used for a uh, cable climbing apparatus, which we'll show you after a bit. And you have one back here between your shoulders, which is called the dorsal D-ring. That's used for fall arrest and also for rescue purposes. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this stuff is to be used on a tower here in a minute, but before we go there, let's talk about hard hats. This is the one I use. Um, you can use anything you want. The tower climber has to have one with a chin strap. Two reasons for that. One is if you're come loose and this um, fall arrest starts to deploy, you're going to come swinging into the tower, you're going to bang your head, you're going to be unconscious. So this saves your, your head in that situation. Chin strap is so it can't come off when you're up there because if it comes off when you're up there and it falls down, you no longer have a hard hat. The other reason a climber should be wearing a hard hat all the time is not because things generally fall on your head. I don't think any of these scratches are from things falling on my head. These scratches are for me coming up underneath something and that hurts like nobody's business. So climber has to wear a hard hat with a chin strap. Got another hard hat sitting here. This is for anybody who's down below. Everybody wears a hard hat when you're climbing towers. I don't know why people don't like to wear these. There's always been a reluctance. All these guys I've worked with, I say, you got to wear a hard hat. Here's a hard hat. Oh, I don't want to wear that. You're not going to drop anything. In the industry, there's a one-to-one -one rule. For every foot you go up on a tower, the radius around the structure is also one foot. So if there's a 100-foot tower, anybody in a 100-foot circle has to be wearing a hard hat. It's not optional. Let's talk a little bit about fall arrest and how to use this. All right, so I'm going to go up here and just show you, this is, this is fall arrest. I'm going to get into this lanyard discussion a little bit later. I'm just putting it on there to keep me from falling off or having to hold on. So let me show you about the fall arrest cables. You have two of them, so the one of them is always attached at any time. As you're climbing up or you're climbing down, one of these is always attached. 
Now, where do you attach this? The obvious easy place is right here on the rung. Now, here's where some rules of physics come into, mo into motion. OSHA says that any attachment point for fall arrest, and they specify this as an OSHA rule, and it does make sense, any attachment point must be capable of supporting 5,000 pounds of dead weight. I put that here. Do you honestly think that that rung is going to support 5,000 pounds? This is rung 55, which is even heavier than 25, but even on rung 55, that's not going to hold 5,000 pounds. Guys always say, well, how do I know what 5,000 pounds is? I'm not a mechanical engineer. In, in tower safety, we learned that 5,000 pounds is about what a pickup truck weighs. So as you go to attach, is that going to hold a pickup truck? No. A better place, and even on our own tower, I'm not sure this is going to hold the pickup truck, is to go around the tower leg. Now you've got a little bit more strength here. Certainly a lot more than putting in the middle of the rung. This will break. This, the welds might pop. I don't know. But it's the best you can do on, on a Roan tower. Some of the big commercial towers, the rungs actually are strong enough to support 5,000 pounds. On a Roan tower, all bets are off. If I were climbing this tower, I'd hook that one up, disconnect this one, climb up, hook the next one. Another rule that we learned in tower class is and I, this is, gets really complicated. You always hook these up from your waist up. You don't hook them down around your feet. And the whole premise of fall arrest is a class unto itself. I can't teach you all the nuances of this. I can tell you that if you come loose of this tower and this thing is catching you, you're going to be hurt. You're going to be probably hurt badly. And you're probably going to need to be rescued. I don't want you to have to depend on this. Sometimes it's the best you can do. Yes, it saved plenty of people's lives, but you have to be trained. You have to be using it properly. You have to have the proper equipment. And I'm telling you, just stay away from depending on this stuff. This stuff gives you a false sense of security. How do you not do this but stay connected? So let me show you how to, I'm gonna come down and get rid of this because this is the last time I'm gonna talk about fall arrest here. I'm going to get this off and we'll show you how to climb a Roan Tower.